Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Riello with KittyBit. So you must be walk, uh, coming up on the Airbuster fight in Chapter 7, A Trap is Sprung, and you're wondering which parts to get rid of. So let's go over the three parts. Uh, first, I'll talk on what they change in the boss fight itself, and then I'll discuss what you get as a reward for dumping each part. So, First, the AI programming cores. They look like disks. They are these here. Getting rid of each one of these will lower the mobility of the Airbuster. I didn't find his mobility to be much of a problem because you fight him in a pretty restricted, restrictive area. Uh, that wasn't the big deal. The benefit that I would say you get most from these is it reduces the amount of stunning attacks that he uses. He has these really annoying AoE stun attacks that hit the area immediately around him, which can really uh, negate combos, melee combos from both Cloud and Tifa. So getting rid of those, you can reduce the amount of stuns. Uh, there is the mobility as well. And getting rid of each one of these will get you an item at the end of this dungeon that gets you 500 gil per. So if you're really stressed on gil right now, you can consider getting rid of these. The ones I would recommend for sure would be Big Bomber Shells. Uh, the Big Bomber Shells are the ammunition for his strongest attack. They look like these oh they're over here they look like these egg bombs they're pretty obvious so each time you as you can see here he's already deployed one so he's going to be able to use big bomber at least once if you remove these other two though you can make it so those that one attack that one time he uses it is the only time this makes the fight much much easier i would recommend going for that however if you are looking for a more challenging fight you can go ahead and let him keep the big bomber shells and go with the AI programming cores or the M units. So the M units, if you get rid of these, they look like these boxes over here. It just states that these are a type of enhancement for it. So if you actually get rid of these, it's supposed, I think it just lowers his overall statuses or uh, statistics. Um, I didn't notice too much of a difference in the fight. Uh, when I did it with zero M units and or with maximum discarded units and with none so if you're looking for to discard this one at the end each one of these that you discard will get you a box uh, there will be a chest that gets you two potions two high potions and two ethers and I think two phoenix downs actually it's two ethers two phoenix downs and two high potions so if you're in real need for the items then you can get rid of the un the M units as well. If you're wanting to make this fight nice, quick, and easy, get rid of all the big bomber shells first, and then go after the programming cores, which will get you some gill and also make the fight a little more tolerable. You have five keys to choose from. The first one is used on the M unit. You have no choice in that. So, As you can see, I'm discarding a big bomber shell on this one. I'll discard all the big bomber shells and then hit the cores, just so I can get this fight done with and get on with my life. But depending on what you want. You guys know the rewards and you know how it changes the fight. So from here, you just make your own choices and have fun with it, guys. Hope this helped you out. Have fun with Airbuster. I thought it was a pretty cool fight. I really I really enjoyed it. Uh, one little tip I would give you for this upcoming fight without showing or spoiling anything is uh, that elemental material you got in Chapter 6. I would go ahead and link that up in a connected material slot with the Thunder material and give it to Barrett. It'll help you out a lot. Outside of that, guys, if you're new to the channel, likes and subs are appreciated but not required. What we do ask for around here, though, is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing an animal. ASPCA.org, PetFinder.com. You can also Google your local animal rescue and adoption options available to you. If you can't bring an animal home due to allergies, living conditions, what have you, there's other ways you can help out those animals in need, such as donating your time, your money, and uh, maybe even uh, items that are needed by your local shelters and organizations for animal welfare and safety. You can Google a lot of that and find out what is necessary, what's needed at the, at the organizations near you. So, Speaking of love, I love you guys. And remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. Have fun with Final Fantasy, guys. Take care.